Google Plus blows open the world of social networking in one fell swoop. Over the last couple of years, a lot of people out there in internet culture found themselves suddenly a victim of Facebook and Twitter. If you didn't play nice with Twitter and Facebook, you were f***ed. More and more surfers stopped caring about individual destination sites and went back and forth between Facebook and Twitter. It was a strange era of people consolidating under one roof, leading to a homogenous internet experience. And Facebook and Twitter have continued to co-evolve, becoming bigger and bigger every day. But it's also easy to think of Facebook and Twitter as being competitors themselves. And they do compete for attention. Though there is of course one fundamental difference. On Twitter you can follow or be followed, whereas on Facebook you can only have a mutual friendship. So, despite the limited feature set, Twitter has become the best place for publishers to establish a one-to-many communication chain, spitting out their perfectly arranged headline and a link back to their website. And for those people following on Twitter, they can hope to get real-time updates on what's going on. But now, there's Google+. After giving its longtime CEO, Eric Schmidt, the boot, co-founder Larry Page recently took over, declaring to all employees that Google bonuses this year will be tied to social. Skip ahead to just months later, out comes Google+, and both Facebook and Twitter must be very afraid. That's because Google has taken the best of both of these worlds and combined them together to create what the majority of critics are calling a success. Not only can you share privately as you do with Facebook or one-to-many as you do with Twitter, the interface and design of Google Circles is fresh, intuitive, and perhaps more useful. Let's take a look. When you first enter in, as many have noticed, it looks a bit like Facebook. Friends categorized on the left, newsstream in the middle, threaded comments, resharing and liking, location-based details, all the good stuff. To follow people, you can drag them into a circle. Circles are like groups of people. If you create a circle called memes, for instance, and then add some interesting people who like to talk about memes, it becomes easy to follow what they are saying. Say something to all of them, or even, crazy enough, video chat. Not just one-to-one -one video, but group chat in Hangouts, with up to 10 people. Did Google know that Facebook was about to roll out video chat with Skype such that they rolled out Google Plus a week earlier? I don't know. That's what I thought. Google has also integrated photos, allowing free photo uploads, video streams of likes, and other pre-established Google features pretty well. With Android, Google TV, the Chrome browser, Google Docs, YouTube, Maps, AdSense, and other popular products like, I don't know, Search, you can start to witness Google gluing its various products together right here in Google+. People were wondering how Google would evolve exactly. Don't forget they bought Jaiku to go head to head with Twitter, but that didn't work. They came up with Google Wave and that didn't work. There's Google Buzz and that didn't do it. Orkut, you say? Google, Yahoo, all of the old school sites that made their bank on selling page views and clicks have been somewhat fading away against the now more valuable measurement, time on site. Didn't mean to bring up Yahoo. It's getting nasty over there with people calling for CEO Carol Bart's head, etc. Anyway, it's worth noting, it could happen to MySpace. Oh wait. And remember how big Dig was? Look at it now. It can happen. Google is the new topic of conversation, as it stakes out ground against everyone from Facebook to Apple to Tumblr, but the consequences for Twitter in the long run could be the most grave. Google has the mechanism that Facebook always lacked, and thus gave Twitter its place. You can follow and be followed. Heck, with Google, you can even push out to people who aren't following you. So today, where Twitter is the de facto place to go to get real-time updates on what just happened, what will happen when it happens on G Plus first? Remember the recent news about the death of Osama bin Laden that broke with a credible source on Twitter an hour before it was announced by the president? What will happen when the next big event happens on Google Plus first, and then gets reshared and commented on for minutes before it makes it over to Twitter? It's just a matter of time. A matter of time until what, Molly? Exactly.